Hey, how's it going, guys? This is K Nasty thirty eight ninety here with another MLB sixteen the show video. Today, I'm going to talking about how you can get better rewards after winning games. You know, when the screen pops up where it has like eight cards and they take one away, one away till you get a card. I can. T- I'm going to show you guys how you can get better cards off that. Now, if you do enjoy tip videos like this or M- any MLB MLB videos, excuse me, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I do produce daily videos for MLB the show mostly Diamond Dynasty some franchise and I'll be doing some Battle Royale series soon and if you do enjoy this guys make sure you hit that like button greatly appreciate it now first off if you guys do not already know when you play against the computer you can change the settings of the, the difficulty settings and it actually gives you better rewards for instance if you look on the bottom right hand part of the screen it says win a reward breakdown where common is the most common at 50% for rookie, then it goes 20% of getting a bronze, 20% of getting a silver, 1% of a gold, and 0.13 of a diamond. If you play on rookie, if you play on veteran, it's the same thing. If you play on all starts, the same. It goes up a little bit. Excuse me. Common's now 30%. Bronze is 46. Silver 21. Gold's at 1.4. So gold only goes up 0.15. Diamond goes up 0.02. If you go up to Hall of Fame. Gold only goes up to 1.7. Um, common's less likely. Silver and bronze go up. If you play on legend. You will not get a common. You're guaranteed a bronze or better. Um, a 41% chance of a silver, almost 12% chance of a gold, and a 0.3% of a diamond. Diamond's still not likely, likely excuse me, but gold is pretty common. Um, I've done this several times, this method, and I've gotten, last night I played about four games on Legend that I won, and I got two gold cards. I've also, in the past, got Mookie Betts, who's a really good gold card out of this. Um, now, you could just play like a nine-inning game, but for one... That's nine innings, takes a little bit longer. Um, two, I know one thing with Legend difficulty, it can be really like cheap, as in like the game will like just make you have an error, or the other team will like hit a ball that's like in the dirt <laughs> for a home run, like something you like, how'd that happen? And so I wanna minimize innings. <clears throat> so the best way to do that is if you go into conquest mode. So we're gonna go into conquest. Now I have completed all the strongholds, but I have left a lot of spots blank and what I've been doing is playing these games on Legend difficulty because I know that those are the ratings I'm going to get. And these are only three inning games. I If you get one run early in the game, you can then set up your bullpen, bring, just have a really good bullpen and set it up. So, for instance, when you go here, you can you know, pick play and simulate and pick Legend. Now, I won, I played, I think, six games. I went four and two, and I'm not the best. This was the squad I was using. I'm only using Dodger players to get innings. So, as you can tell, this squad, I mean, Corey Seager's good, Matt Kemp's not bad, Jock Peterson's pretty good, Kiki Hernandez is pretty good, um, but I mean, like, oh, there's some bronzes there, now the pitchers, I'm just kind of using my normal pitchers, but my bullpen is, has some Dodger guys in there, but if I use my normal squad, I'm definitely going to win even more of those games, and this is a good way to get innings, it's a good way to get diamond, or mostly gold, and some diamond cards, like I said, I got Mookie Betts, um, in Conquest mode when I had to play on Legend to defend a Stronghold. I won that game, and I got Mookie Betts, who goes for, I think he goes for a good amount, like 7 or 8k? Yeah, 7,500 coins, or stubs, excuse me. If you want to sell him, it's a great sell, um, or if you want to use him on your team, which I recommend, he's a great card, um, you can do that. So, if you're trying to just bust out some innings, you want to do it by yourself, kind of just do, do something in the background, play him on Legend, do Conquest, so it's only three inning games, and I hope you get some rewards after it. I mean, worst case, you're gonna get a bronze card, you feed it to your player, um, or if you get a silver, those will go for a couple hundred stubs, maybe up to a thousand stubs. Gold cards, Carlos Correa, if you wanna talk about gold cards that are expensive, Carlos Correa, well, let me go to him. He goes for, I think, over 30,000 stubs. Um, the servers are just complete garbage, like always, because this is MLB The Show. <laughs> um, here we go, now we're moving through these. I'll show you guys how much Correa goes for if you're like, eh, it's a gold card, what do gold cards go for? Because I have him on my squad, and I am not going to sell him, because I'm hoping he goes to a diamond, but he is so freaking good. that He is going for 25,000 stops. 25k. You know, when it's another good gold card that I've gotten that goes for a lot. So, guys, keep that in mind. If you want to get some better rewards after the game, play on Conquest, play on Legend difficulty. Hope you win the games. If you lose the games, you still get the innings counted towards your squad. And other than that, you really don't lose anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy the tips, hit the like button. Greatly appreciate it. And comment down below. What have you pulled if you've been doing this or if you do it? And if you get something good, let me know. I always want to hear what you guys in the comment section. I always read them. I always try to respond to you guys. That's it for the video, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.